Hello. Here now live. This is episode three. CWA. Take it away. GM no, Chris. I refuse. Fine. I'm jamming this time. I'll this leave it where it is. <laughs> I'll never take it anywhere. Um, yeah. Cool. So, it's been a couple weeks. Does everyone remember what uh, is going on? Or do we need Skeleton some... Army have challenged you, Johnny. Exactly. That is the, the big the big send-off is uh, the Skeleton Army uh, is uh, going to be... Johnny's going to have to take on Cowlbrax's Skeleton Army. And uh, after all that, he has to. Calibrax is going to get in the ring. Um, and uh, yeah, then uh, also, I believe Jimmy Weston has uh, teamed up <laughs> with uh, Jonathan Twiddle, who is the local weatherman. Yes, to defeat, I think, Brock the Butcher, is it? Or is Brock it... the Butcher, yes. Yeah. I haven't added him as a non-player wrestler yet, actually. So let me just add him so I remember. Uh, and and, and his, he is leader of a faction, the Butchers. Uh, leader of the Butchers. And yeah, so <clears throat> you and uh, you and uh, you and Mr. Twiddle are uh, set to uh, set to fight uh, Brock because, of course, uh, Brock uh, crashed your uh, uh, contendership match with Big Boy um, and basically ended it in a no contest. Um, Basically stealing your chance to challenge for the CWA belt. I, I I like the implication that if we defeat him, perhaps the weatherman could be the contender <laughs> to the CWA belt. Maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a, that's gonna be a a tag team match, uh, and the butcher's gonna bring along one of his flunkies. Uh, but yeah, so those that's what's on the schedule for tonight. Uh, of course, uh, anything can happen in the CWA. And so... Uh, yeah, that's very good. I... Uh... All right, so let's yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, just looking at my notes, seeing if there's anything else I want to bring up at this juncture. I don't think so. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, yeah. So let's start right away. Um, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Twiddle, uh, Jonathan Twiddle, I think his name is, right? Yes, Jonathan Twiddle. Uh, he did show up in the ring at the end uh, to foreshadow uh, his appearance on this next week's program. Um, <clears throat> and I will, I'm going to, like, uh, this, is, this, uh, this is on tape delay. Uh, so it's, uh, <laughs> but it was actually filmed, uh, it was actually filmed earlier and they just, they're playing, this is like a week later on TV, but it's actually the same night. <laughs> so you guys are, or it's like, or like, it's like the next night, but they've delayed it for TV. So it's not live, uh, this week. Uh, cause you guys are traveling somewhere else currently, <laughs> but they needed to cover the time, uh, to get people where they were going. So, uh, yeah, this show is, um, is a tape show. Uh, we're not doing live, but uh, we are going to start. But it's filmed before a live audience, of course. Yes, it's filmed. Yeah, it's filmed before a live audience, but it's filmed like the the night after. But it didn't. It obviously doesn't like the show is airs weekly. So. Uh, yes. Night one was was aired live, uh, but night two is delayed by six days and, you know, will be next week. Anyway. Um, 
So yeah, so uh, we're gonna start off with uh, you are with uh, Jonathan Twiddle and uh, someone, uh, one of the uh, one of the interviewers goes up to you and says, uh, "Jimmy, how are you? How are you helping uh, John get in ring shape?" And I, and I look him dead in the eye and, and I and are dead in the camera <laughs> that's interviewing me, and I say, "Well, you see." The great thunder, uh, the, the great thunderstorm, Mr. Twirtle, Jonathan, little, little old Johnny boy was born ready when he summoned the lightning and it infused him and it cracked open the world only to be born a weatherman. All weathermen nice. are ready. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, that seems like you're kind of like cutting a promo on his behalf. Uh, did, uh, did I make you do the celebrity promo move last time? I believe I, you did. I don't know if I have. I think I just rolled it. Right. Actually, it doesn't look like I did. So maybe let's. I mean, the the celebrity promo move is. Uh... No, I did. No, I did. It's like you, you, you book them right, in a match. You, you... Sorry, what? You like book them in the match, or right? You're you booked with them on their their behalf. As, as their partner to win. Right? Yeah. right. 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 Okay, I remember that. Okay, good. So we'll just have you cut a regular promo then. Jonathan's like flexing into the camera and trying to look tough. Is he there? Yeah, you guys are together, right? Because you know you're you're like teaching him, the, you're like showing him the ropes, and he's you know he's a weatherman. He's not an entertainer, so they were like, get out there, and make him look good. Uh, okay, yeah, you uh, you get the audience's attention. Pick one. Uh, and. Could I say that, yeah, he was born ready to defeat, you know, Brock and then take one heat with Brock? Or, uh, sure, yeah. yeah. Or should I, I take, yeah. or should I no, take no, no, one heat with uh, the weatherman? No, 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 I'm, I'm, fine with, I'm fine with it being Brock because, you know, he's not coming with you guys. Yeah, right, he's a, he's a celebrity guest. So there's not much point in building up heat with him. Uh, but we'll definitely give you the heat with Brock, right? Okay. That's fine with me. Yeah, then I'll take a heat from... Yeah, from, okay, I've added a heat between you and Brock. That'll be good for the match coming up. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll also... Um, all, oh, yes. This is another thing I wanted to uh, to kind of talk about, is that, like, there are other matches on the card, obviously, and I know, like, you guys can, like, interrupt things that are going on, and obviously you can always... You can interrupt each other, obviously, in, in your segments or your... Uh, uh, or your other matches, but if you're like if you're itching to do something in general, just like be like, hey, I want to do something like in general and interrupt something in general, you know, <laughs> and like you know, just go be doing whatever. Uh, that's totally fine. So anyway, um, we'll move on to uh, Andrew. You are in the locker room. And all of a sudden, the lights go out. And then they flick back on, and you are surrounded by skeletons, and they mean to do you harm. Is this just dudes in, like, skeleton suits, or...? Well, yeah. <laughs> They're not actual skeletons. Okay, sorry. well, I don't know, because I'm not sure, like, if it's, like, if it's, like, props yeah. or if it's actually, like, so dudes. Cal, but... Cal, ba- Cal Brax is playing dirty. He's, he's going to try and beat you to a pulp before you even get to the ring. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, well then, yeah, I'm assuming there's obviously a camera in the room right now. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is all work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he isn't just actually jumping me with his goonies who are wearing yeah, spells. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't actually want to injure you before the match. It's, <laughs> this is just a uh, this is just a little a little uh, preamble to get the get the crowd hyped for the oh, upcoming okay. to the upcoming w- war against the Calabrax's skeleton army. Uh, why? Well, I... For some reason, already oiled up on my chest, uh, rip off 
my uh, jacket to just be in like my tights and my bare chest. Oh, nice! Yeah, and, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> how many skeletons are there? Uh, I don't know. There's like a handful. Okay. Like it's a, it's a, not a huge locker room, but like so they're like they're kind of shoulder to shoulder. But uh, okay, there, there's not too many of them because it's you know, but they're surrounding you. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of be like looking really looking really tough and serious and kind of huffing a puff in my chest and just be like, try it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. So you're, you're, uh, um, what should we, what should we call that? Um, hmm. Does he have like an intimidation move or something? He does have an intimidating move. You, you are not in the ring and you bring your, okay. So yeah, so we'll just say, yeah, you can just roll body. Uh, and it'll just be a, uh, I get my stats. Hmm. I'm just yeah, looking at, I, I was going to say the question is what is the, uh, what is the move? Yeah. Uh, I think the best move is just, uh, it's not really a heal move. I personally want you to tremble in fear. <laughs> That's my opinion. Is this the is this the work of the audience? Yeah, I mean, Ooh. sort of, but not really. Oh yeah, kind of doing it. Where's my? Oh wait, why is my sheet all messed up? One second. Okay. There we go. Now I can see all my moves. Uh... I mean, if anything, it's it's straight up. Like you're just in, like you're. I literally you're, have a role that's just called intimidating. I don't know if that, but I guess what does that do? Is it doesn't do anything. Question. Yeah, it's yeah. just I just put it in there. It just means uh, when you can roll body instead of whatever. So I made a role there. So when you click intimidating, you can substitute that role for whatever like move if you're using your physical size. Oh, whoops. Okay, well I guess pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you know, uh, yeah, so I guess we can just call it, uh, oh, yeah, this, this is screwed up. Hold on. I, uh, let me, let me edit it. That's a little broken. <laughs> yeah, I broke the macro. Here, let me try it now. Oh. There we go. Okay. I fixed it. Okay. Um, Excellent. so yeah, I'll, I'll just say that this is basically, um, Basically, this is just a promo, right? But you you can use your body instead of uh, instead of the like. So just roll cut a promo and then roll intimidating to uh, to show that you're you know you're just you're just you know being a physically imposing force. Roll cut a promo and then roll intimidating, and that we'll use this roll instead of the the default roll, which is uh, uh, which is look. Okay. Okay, so you uh, got a seven. Yeah. Go. Uh, also, does our the beginning of the, ma- of the thing does our momentum reset? Yeah. So yeah, right now Tyler and John, your momentum is one, and Andrew, your momentum is two. Yeah. Good. Good. Time to moment. Moment us forward. I don't know. Where I'm going with that. Hey, uh, so I can make create a book you in a match. Add a stipulation to a relevant match. They come out to respond to your promo or game plus one. He with the subject of your promo. Oh man! Okay, I want I want Cal Brax to show up. Okay, Cal. <laughs> so yeah, he's not afraid of your skeleton warriors. So you enter the room, and your 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 legion of skull minions uh, part to let you through. Ooh, I'm wearing my. Uh, when you see me, you see I'm wearing my ceremonial robe as I hold uh, as I hold the crucible in my hands it's just like a staff with a with like a bladed wings on the side of it and you may not be able to tell but I'm possibly half a foot taller than last time you saw me <laughs> wearing platform shoes <laughs> I was gonna say is this guy just gonna get bigger and bigger well yeah he's gonna make himself look bigger so uh, so that you're, the odds look stacked against you yeah. I was like, yeah, totally. That's a great idea. I'm hoping the cameras are are much lower, looking up. 
Yeah, 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 exactly. It's shot like shot like from below. So both you guys look tall, you know, but like Cowl Brox looks like even taller and bigger than normal. <laughs> and I'm just when he comes in the room, I'm just gonna say, Are you more man or gutless skeleton? And I'm gonna just stare at him. Skeletons don't have guts, but we have will. And I point nice. the crucible at him. In a cool pose. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's cutting a promo. So you go ahead and cut a promo. Am I promo or? or yeah, yeah. Under? I mean, oh. yeah. You you came out and you cut a promo right back at him. <laughs> Doing this. Ten. The the audience Ooh. loves it. Pick two. Woo. I already have a. Uh, I already have a, ma- a match booked. Uh, I'd hate for another one to like compound on this one. Like, do the walls fall down and like we're suddenly in a match? So it's a fake dressing room. I mean, you know, it can be like any match. It doesn't have to necessarily even be this one, right? Because keep in mind, like this represents the crowd like being hype. But you can That's like it. you can say like the, here's the thing. You can say like, hey, the crowd loves me. Like I want like. I want to be considered a contender for a title, right? You can just it. like it can be completely irrelevant to this current situation, right? It can be anything, and so keep that in mind. Like when I says make creative book you in a match, it doesn't have to be anything to do with this because this is just representing the audience being into what you're doing, and that gives you like the backstage clout to to ask for your character to be used in new things, right? So there's that too. All right, uh, I'm going to gain plus one heat then uh, against uh, Johnny. Yep. Um, That's gonna gonna, be you're at plus three heat with him now. You're going down. Uh, and, I th- and I want you to respond to my, to my promo. Well, are, he's already here. So. <laughs> I'm already here. Uh, well, okay. Uh, you uh, guys can keep doing things, but there's no, like, that wouldn't really do anything, right? You're cutting, if you cut a promo on someone who's in front of you, you can't choose they come out to respond because they're already there. <laughs> You know, unless Where's I show up or... from behind him, and I it seems like I, I mean, look. You guys can devol- like if you guys want to, to devolve this this promo fest into a brawl, that's fine. Or if you guys just want to look tough and evil at each other, evil. that's also fine. But yeah, I, I would I would say pick something else. I mean, it's uh, difficult because you're uh, you know. Can I like, add a stipulation to a relevant match uh, for this for the match we're probably going to have soon? Yeah, uh, if you can think of one, yeah, sure. You can like, well, I don't know. I don't want to put. It's already in kind of like a gimmick match, but you can you can add something else to it. Hmm. I'm having trouble thinking of a good stipulation because most of them are like, "I I get your hat, Johnny." Okay, uh, that doesn't make I sense. can. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> a hat versus skull match. I was gonna Ooh, say yeah. another yeah. another time. Uh, if you don't, if you can't think of anything, then that's that's okay. You don't like you don't have to yeah. do anything else. Hold like, on. Um, can I? If, add... Yeah. If Johnny has a suggestion, then yeah. Would you... yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say I don't want to like, uh, kind of like overstep, but I thought I could give you some suggestions if you wanted. So I was yeah, I was thinking add a stipulation and heat would have been good ideas. So yeah, heat's cool. And then for the stipulation, I'm thinking like so since I'm kind of calling calling out your use of skeleton. Um, you could I don't know I'm thinking like you could like quote unquote buff your skeletons like you could like enchant them or maybe you could do something like having them be flaming skeletons or like having fire in the ring I don't know like it sounds kind of crazy but how's this first can I have like two people with me in the ring as my stipulation and they are going to be uh, the bodies of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid I mean they're actually just going to be people in suits. No, no, no. I, 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 I was going to say like the, like the. This is basically going to be like a, like a battle or like a, not, not a battle royale, but uh, yeah, like, like, uh, like going to be this fighting... be like a royal rumble where yeah. he's going to fight literally waves of skeleton warriors, and you can yeah. be you are like the final wave. So you can yeah, you can add a stipulation to be like ooh, this my two henchmen. Uh, will be joining me, and they are, you know, they're not just skeleton warriors, but they are, you know. Oh wait, was Calbrax always going to be there? Because I thought he actually was just going to be me against the skeletons. Um, actually, yeah, that's a good point. I was going to say like that Cal wasn't actually going to be there, but uh, I- I'm fine with you being like, yeah. So the stipulation is like, not only must you defeat my skeleton army, at the end of it, you have to defeat me. 
Yeah, I could see that. That's interesting. Okay. And you you could have henchmen as well, like if you wanted to. Yeah, you can totally, yeah, you can totally cut there. like that. I mean, that's a great heal thing to do. Like people expect it to be just you, and then you just show up with two extra guys. They're like, "What the hell?" That's what yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run okay. with that. Okay. Uh, and actually, I was gonna say, um, keep that keep those ideas in mind because that's a great op. That would like I know you. We kind of foreshadowed it here, but you can spring that out of nowhere. And and that's basically just making the heel move, right? You're doing something mm. underhanded to get what you want. Yeah. Right? If you just, like, if you enter the ring and you're supposed to be on your own, but you actually have two henchmen with you out of nowhere, nobody expected it, that's a great heel move. They're like, oh, this this guy, he's cheating. You know, he hired a ringer to, to beat up, you know? <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, okay. So you guys are glowering at each other, and uh, the, we're just going to cut to fade to black. Um is assumed that uh, nothing too terrifying goes down. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the undercard, uh, some matches are going on, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll go uh, straight to the uh, to the undercard match, which is uh, Jimmy Weston and uh, excuse me, sorry about that, which is uh, Jimmy Weston and Jonathan Twiddle versus. Uh, Brock the Butcher and his uh, his tag team partner, whose uh, name I haven't decided. So, uh, what do you guys think? Think of a wrestler name for me. <laughs> and he's the he's just the. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, he's a member of the Butchers, so he's got to be kind of like a rough, tough kind of. Ooh, ooh, call him Bullock. Call him what? Bullock. Bullock. B yeah. B U L L O C K. Yeah. Okay. Like Bullock, Bullock Brass. Bullock Brass. Ooh. Yep, that's his name, Bullock Brass. And he's yeah, he's just a big Hulkin guy because he's named after a bull, I guess. <laughs> it stands really close to Bollocks, but uh... <laughs> yeah. Thinking, well, uh, I'm thinking of like Detective Bullock. Also, Bullock is an ox, not a cow. I'm... Interestingly, a bullock is actually a castrated uh, ox. So, oh, <laughs> oh, really? That's hilarious. Nobody knows that, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Now for the like, agriculturally oh, minded. That detective yeah. with that name makes more sense now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, in uh, in North America, I think like that's like this. It's the same name for like a steer in North America. But bullock is the, the British name for it, I think. Bullock Steer almost sounds like a name in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, it almost does. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, it's a great name, Bullock Brass. I love it. He's yeah, he's just a big hulking guy, and his yeah, he's got kind of like a not like he's got not like a cow. He's got like kind of like a cow gimmick. Uh, like he's, he's not like dressed in like cow leather, but he's like you know he's got like horns and uh, he's got a nose ring. So you know he's like oh sure I could be like an ox you know whatever that's cool. <laughs> so yeah. It's legitimately and, uh, an and, ox. And Brock's not and Brock's Brock's the like Brock's not a monster, but he's he's not a small guy either. So the two of you kind of like so yeah, they're they're gonna be the uh the favorites, so they're gonna enter first. So you and um uh you and John are gonna enter first. So how do you guys uh enter the ring? Well, uh since I'm not that important, we start with like it's like the the like the uh, Kenora news theme comes on for a bit, <laughs> and then yeah. then thunder, whew, the lights dim for like a second or flash or whatever, or like um or like sparklers come up, and then it's like the the weatherman like <laughs> in dressed in like uh dressed like a wrestler, so he's like in the tights or whatever, <laughs> and he's like flexing on like the jumbotron, and then. You know, I come in, I'm like, yeah, give it up. And then he comes in walking, it falls serious. And uh, yeah, and then then like the, the weatherman kind of like fades into like my like montage music. But then we just like walk up and I'm trying to be like his hype man. Like, yep, yep, it's it's the thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. OK, so yeah. How is how does how is he dressed? What's his uh what's his ring attire look like? Regale us. 
Uh, so Jamie Wasinia, of course, is dressed in his tearaway suit. And I think uh, the weatherman also has a tearaway suit. So we, we're coming in. Naturally. We're coming in. And he looks more or less like he, everyone recognizes him. Uh, but then, you know, once we get to the ring uh, and right before entering, I tear my suit away and I start flexing and I'm like kind of skinny. And then, you know, and I like I, I do the double point to the uh, to 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 the weatherman and he, uh, you know, he do, he rips his and he's a little bit less skinnier than me, you know, like a little bit more like uh, buff. But he's in like, yeah, the wrestling tights with like the, the boots that come like almost to the knee. And we're like, yeah. And maybe nice. he has like a like a thunderbolt painted on his chest or something just to <laughs> shave into his chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool uh yeah so after uh after you guys enter you guys are kind of um hanging around the ring and uh yeah so uh then uh brock the butcher's uh music comes on and it's just like a big basically you know, there's like a big heavy industrial and like the the jumbotron lights up with like saws and you know blood and guts and all kinds of carnage and you know he's like standing there in like this charnel house and he walks onto the walks onto the ramp and he like holds his arms out he gets a big shot of pyro and the crowd's like the crowd's like booing him they're like screw you there's no way you could uh defeat our beloved local weatherman <laughs> but nobody and uh yeah his his so his entrance is so big and so uh so attention getting that nobody noticed that bullock brass is behind you guys in your corner and he grabs both of you by the throat uh but the referee notices that bullock has entered the ring and thus all legal members are in the ring and the bell is rung the match begins, but you are both in the chokehold of the massive bullock brass. What do you do? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's got both of you, like one under each arm, and you guys are like, yeah, getting choked out not three seconds into the match. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, OP. I, that's <laughs> hey, cheating. The Eagles, man, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna cheat sometimes. That's cheating. That's... <laughs> now, now. Uh, so I'm gonna start, yeah, like trying to like punch him. I'm not sure how how well he's gonna sell my punching to his gut. Um, he's gonna no sell it a bit because you know, like he got the jump on you. But... Yeah, he's supposed to be tough too. So I'm like, yeah, trying yeah. to punch him, and he's like, Ugh, and then I'm like choking and like, Ugh. Uh, I think after struggling for a bit, um, I think we're going to, you know, one, two, three. We're like. All three of us are gonna like fall down like backwards to like slam him. I oh, guess. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys like coordinate to like slam him against the ring post so he can loosen his grip. Yeah. Yeah. And then... No, I like that. That that totally happens. And then uh, so he's like he, he's so he's like and he like kind of he you see his like head like kind of bounce off the top turnbuckle and he his arms like kind of like uh, slide over the things and or hang over the ropes. And uh, yeah, so the legal man is technically you, so, Jimmy. So uh, the weatherman beats a hasty retreat to his corner. Uh, but how are you going to follow up with that this move? Uh, I think I'm going to do something hilarious, which is I'm going to jump on him, like, uh, like with like because he's like slumped in the like the, his arms are on like the the ropes or whatever, and I'm going to like jump and straddle like the lower ropes, so I'm like facing him. Straddling and then, like slap him in the face, nice. yeah, <laughs> like think, several uh, times just to to be funny. Yeah, sure. Uh, make uh, <laughs> make the wrestling move. Uh, we'll go with um, uh, I guess just uh, just uh, work. Can't think of anything else. Okay. Good old fashioned wrestling. Oh just, uh, no! It's a wrestling move. It's a bot. And I don't have enough momentum to do it. All right. Yeah. So uh, he uh, he no sells because uh, he's like, come on, man. Like you got to make me look tough. You're not making me look tough. So he's like, he's like, like the real guy, like not like Bullock Brass character. He's like, 
be like, look, I know that this is a, a comedy match, but still, I I gotta look tough. You can't be doing this nonsense. <laughs> so he like just kind of shoves you off of him after no selling your move. <laughs> that was the point. Uh, that was the point. That's okay. Yeah, but the crowd didn't laugh. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a hard move just yet. That's a bit early in the episode for that. Uh, and uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna. But yeah, so he uh, by this point, uh, uh, Brock has made it to the ring, and Bullock kind of like stomps over to the corner and slaps him, and he points to you. He says, "You're gonna regret that, you shrimp!" And he uh, r- walks over to you and uh, tries to grab your arm and put you in an armbar. Uh, okay, uh, I'll be put in an armbar uh, for a while, and I'm like. Trying to like you know reach over to like tag ah! the the uh, the weatherman, uh, and then you know maybe I can't reach. Maybe he's pulling me back to the middle, uh, and then after a while I like I like elbow him, and then I like you know give him a kick, and then I'm gonna go tag the weatherman. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and then once the weatherman's in the ring, I'm gonna be like, come on, Kadora, he needs the electricity power. Right. of the audience yeah. it's like okay, i like grab like uh, a mic or something yeah that's that's uh that's cheap heat you gain plus one momentum yeah. you mentioned the you mentioned the hometown in a positive light because you're the face so yeah so uh yeah so you tag him out and he does uh the thunderbolt kick where he jumps off the turnbuckle and does uh does a drop kick right into the chest of uh of brock the or yeah, Brock the Butcher, and uh, he, yeah, he did, you know, does a big sell. Um, so yeah, so you're on the ring, you're on the ring apron. Um, uh, the the weatherman does a like a quick series of uh, of moves that you guys have been rehearsing, or rather that him and Brock have been rehearsing backstage. Uh, and then you know, it's uh, it quickly comes to an end, and he needs to like retreat back to the corner, uh, because he also has a sequence up ahead with uh with a uh, bullet grass that he planned. So uh, he rolls back into the corner to tag you out or to tag out. All right. Uh, and so I'm going to like flip into the, into the, into the ring over the ropes and um, yeah, try to like do like a running body slam onto uh, is it, is it uh is it Brock's in, currently in the ring? Brock's still in the ring, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to try body slam him, but he, like, he's supposed to catch me and then like, yeah, do some sort of yeah. mean thing with it. Yeah, but he'll, how about he'll catch you and he'll, like, uh, he'll, like, he'll just catch you and then like bring you down onto his knee in like, a backbreaker. And I'm like, ah! Uh, and I'm like yeah. on the ground, like selling it hard. Uh, but then um, uh, I'm going to like... You know, like grab his leg and then maybe try to like trip him or something as I yeah, as so I stand yeah, up. As he, as he like looms over you, you, you go in for the trip. Uh, sure, yeah, that's a that's a wrestling move. Let's go uh, with work. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ten. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So they. Yeah. So he. He. Yeah. He like just completely like. You know, he after the backbreaker, he's he got lazy and he just kind of like he kind of like just like bent over to try and grab you again, and you quickly rolled up, rolled underneath him and tripped him. Uh, took his feet out from under him, and he like lands flat on his face in the middle of the ring, uh, and the crowd cheers and laughs. Uh, so yeah, you gain plus one momentum, and uh, now you're uh, now you're in control. Nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna like you know wait for him to like get up just a little bit and then run and like do like a flying like elbow yep uh and then so yeah he's uh he's gonna try and uh dot he's gonna try and like uh duck under like like slide underneath your arm uh showing surprising agility because he wants to get back to his corner yeah and so then uh i think what i'm gonna do yeah is like go against the ropes you know, like, like you yep. know, miss, Bounce go against the, the ropes. ropes, and then come back, and then maybe, like, kick him into the corner or something. Yeah, so you, you should kick him into the corner. I kick him, and then he goes back, like, you know, like, stumbles back to his corner. Yeah, he just barely makes it, and uh, slaps in uh, his partner, makes the hot tag. 
Um, but he's, you know, he was reeling for a minute there, but uh, he managed to get to the corner before you could really capitalize. And now you are staring down the massive bullock brass who's, you know, looks for all the world like an angry bull. Can and, I do... Uh, he charges out of the corner straight at you. Can I do the comeback move? <laughs> yeah, you where, totally can. Where he gains control? Because... Yep. Sounds like a good moment. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, the comeback move. Yes, exactly. So you get plus one. He does a cool momentum. thing. And yeah, so he like just bull rushes you into the into the far into the corner, uh, not the corner that uh, your partner is in, uh, and just like he starts just wailing on you. He's like giving you like giving you the business, you know, chops and. Uh, he, then he finishes off with uh, a bull, like a big headbutt, which is one of his like one of his signature moves. Um, and then he like grabs you by under the arms and like throws you into your corner. And then he says, "You," and he points at the weatherman. <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, he points at him, and um. Yeah, I, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to make the take two move. <laughs> uh, I no, didn't, it's okay. I, I, I didn't uh, have. You don't have to because it's not the hot tag, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. The hot tag is like you, you're kind of like you know. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's like when you're like, oh, I need it, I need it, I need it, and then you grab and you then you go for it, you know. Okay. Yeah. It, so uh, he's right calling them out, so I, I tag him and yeah, let them do their cool. Yeah. So they do a, a, a quick little sequence, and uh, I will say that you guys are booked to win, uh, and so. Uh, the this is a, like I said, it's a short match because uh, you know this guy can't actually wrestle, so he can you can only do so much. <laughs> he doesn't have much training, so you guys are gonna do a, a tag team finisher. Um, he's gonna get the advantage on uh, Bullock Brass, and uh, he's gonna tag you in, and uh, you guys are gonna do a tag team combo, and then you're gonna get the one two three. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds cool. I think what I, uh, like the the tag team combo is that like he you know punches and punches and punches him, and he's coming like closer and closer to our corner. Then tags me in, and like I jump up onto the the ropes, and then like I like you know do like um like a flying like drop kick or whatever. And then while he's like underneath and like lifts him, so he like flies and flops really like really right, loudly. Yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> like loud on the look on the thing um you know of course slamming his arms down to make it even louder uh yep. and then uh of course Both yeah and then, how to play ball <laughs> this yeah. ain't his first rodeo <laughs> and then i uh yeah i uh i go and do the do the tag uh after you know the crowd cheer or do the do the finishing move uh plus the plus the thing is there a finishing move is that on my sheet yep it should be on your sheet yeah so go ahead and roll finishing move Did I open? Oh yeah, it's here. Finishing move. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, it's a seven. Seven. You can make it a ten. You could too. <laughs> or is it only on a fail? It's uh. Sorry, That's a good no. question. I was I, wondering that actually. I can you? you can put, I don't know if you can put over a finisher. I don't see why not. Let me just put over. Uh, just puts it to the next tier, right? It's not that it necessarily has to be a botch. Um, you can just click it and see. I think. Yeah, it's uh, it gen it does. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'd, yeah, next you result. Do it dice once, for a you move. Can only do it once per <laughs> match, but uh, it, there's nothing that says that you can't do it for a finisher if you want. So yeah, you can do it if you want. Okay. What'd you do again, Sean? Uh, I did like a flying uh, drop kick, where the guy like thunderbolt drop kick. I did. Yeah, I did the. I did temporarily christened. I did the uh, the thunderbolt drop kick (laughs) with uh, you know grounded by the thunder storm himself as he you know like you know the guy like you know went backwards and then the thunderbolt you know flipped him up and he like slammed on the ground and then I went. And like scramble to like do the count. Okay, so are you just you? But you drop kicked him, and now you're pinning him. Yeah, I drop kicked him, and then my teammate, like yeah, like basically 
through him. Yeah, your teammate's gonna run over to the corner to stop uh, to stop his tag team partner from interfering. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're pinning Brock, right? Yes. No, you're or, you're pinning Bullock, Bullock Grass. Bullock, Bullock Grass. Grass. Bullock Grass. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Brock's the Brock's the faction leader. He can't lose a meaningless match to nobody. <laughs> he, he needs be to, too crushing. But Bullock's Bullock's just a you know he's he's just doing the job today. Uh, okay. But he's part of the fa- he's part of the faction right now, and he's not like he's not leading it, so his losses and wins aren't super important right now. So okay. He's fine with doing it. Okay. But you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and I'm not playing Johnny Legend at the announcer's booth, right? Sure. I'm playing an announcer, or am I playing Johnny you, Legend? You can <laughs> your a, choice. Play a wrestler character as a guest announcer. B have an announcer character that you would just make up and that you can be, or C just be a generic announcer. It's totally fine. What any of those three are fine, whatever you want to do. Okay. I'll be generic announcer for today, but I love the idea of making an announcer character. I think that that's actually a good idea uh, because it'll give you guys a little more like cuz you don't need to be the announcer very much, but if you have mm. like an announcer character, that would be it would be nice because then we'll see them come back all the time, right? Yeah. So, but well, you, then you just have like a like an attitude that you can bring, right? Like it's Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can you can just be a generic commentator and just ha- you all have your own attitude anyway which is fair enough but anyway oh, go ahead. okay oh my god kanora <laughs> the lightning is coming out look at that storm oh i'm so glad we brought you people out here today to witness the power of this city look at him go and then as he like comes down and it's like flying from uh the sky to like drop kick bullock he hits him and i go oh my god and i just kind of freak out like Oh my god, he's devastated! I think that's it! I think that's it! <laughs> and then they start doing the count. One, One two. two, I can't believe it! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, the other match. <laughs> Alright, Sean, so uh, do you want to gain one audience, or do you want to give a random non-player wrestler one audience? Uh, I'll gain an audience. Sure. That's good, because... Uh... Yeah, your opponent doesn't actually have an audience because he's an <laughs> all-player wrestler. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, so uh, you guys are victorious in the ring, but uh-oh, what's this? The Butchers uh, are none too pleased with what you've done, uh, and they they surround the ring, um, and they are uh, meaning to come in menacingly, but uh and uh punish you for what you've done to their to their boss oh no mhm so there yeah there's like i think there's probably like probably like half a dozen like big tough looking guys uh that are surrounding the ring uh oh no i have to you know defend my celebrity friend from taking a beating because I am a good guy so I'm going to tell him you go I'll defend you I could take I could take I could buy you some time while they beat me as I say like it into like some mic is because like I was probably handed a mic while we won or something and yeah and then he takes his opponent be like I have a better idea and uh, all of a sudden, there's some f- uh, some like uh, like some uh, fake rain machines come on and like start pouring rain on the sides of the ring, and the guy's like, "Ah, I'm wet! Ah, this sucks!" <laughs> and they all run a- run away. The weatherman <laughs> is like, "Ha ha! Chance of showers!" <laughs> and uh, the crowd cheers. I'm like. Uh, because- and I like has been defeated. And I like hold up his arm. I'm like, he's a natural. He's such he's so good. All right, you're working the audience. Make it happen. <laughs> Eight. Oh. Ooh. You can make it ten. <laughs> I was gonna say unless Tyler wants to put this one over too. Your but... or a funny one. Well, I don't know if I have a... Oh, I can gain... I can spend... So if you get plus one heat with Brock, I think you get another audience at the end of the episode. I spend two heat. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay. Uh-uh. And you still get a momentum. Oh, no, you can pick either one. Oh, then you have to spend another momentum, yeah. But yeah, I mean... Oh, so I have to spend three momentum to do that. Yeah, why not? Okay. 
Yep. So you'll spend three momentum, and your heat with Brock will be up to f up to uh, four. And uh, yeah, so the uh, the match is now over. Um, and yeah, you'll get another audience because you just wrestled the match with someone you had plus four heat with. So there you go. And I should uh, technically you wrestled against uh, Bullock as well. So I will add. Uh, I will add a box for him as well. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> like a laundry list of well, he's just, characters. It's just how it goes. Because uh, you and you and you and uh, Tyler are in a feud with each other right now. Yeah, and you're uh, too fake. How do I know? Yeah, so that's gonna take up a lot of. Oops, that's no good. It wasn't a dig. I just thought it was funny. No, no, it's yeah, it's fine. Like you know, like you know, the being nice the thing only about face. Non player wrestlers is that uh, you know you can. Um, you can uh, throw them in when when they are useful and get rid of them when they're not. <laughs> um, but yeah, like right, like as I said, like right now, you two are having like you know you're an epic this is, I, battle of the ages. Yeah, this I'm thinking is going to be the blow off match uh, because once you've defeated a guy's entire skeleton army, there's not much else. <laughs> it's not like there's a belt on the line or anything until he right? so, becomes a giant skeleton super form and then i have to fight that and then all of a sudden there's like space zombies and i'm fighting right, those I'm, I'm writing this down i'm writing this down <laughs> i don't know why it was why it's gray it shouldn't it should have been black Whatever. Okay. There we go. All right. So yeah. So there are other matches go on uh, through the night, um, and uh, yeah. So the the main event is a uh, is a title defense, not of the CWA belt, but uh, the kind of like the mid card belt, um, which was based on the former uh, Canadian uh, or the. West Coast Wrestling Championship, uh, or the what did I call it? Is the CWCW, right? I should. I'm forgetting my own lore. No, <laughs> the WCWC, yeah, the Western Canada Wrestling Championship. There we go. Okay, yeah. Uh, is uh, yeah. So the the mid card belt is is the former WCWC belt, uh, and it's been up. It's been, uh, it's now basically called the, um, it's like basically called like the, the, um, the, uh, cable championship, but, uh, I can't think of a better name for it. Basically the idea behind it is that it's defended on TV, uh, a lot of the time, not exclusively, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of meant for being shown on, uh, on television so people can see kind of like the secondary title on TV, uh, which might entice them to buy the big pay-per-views where the big title is uh, contended for. So mm. that's the main events. But um, prior to that is a um, is the, the man versus an army match. So go ahead, um, Andrew. And uh, give yourself the, um, where is it? Yes, the Regal Wrangle. Um, the Regal Wrangle move, which is their version of the Royal Rumble. Please don't sue WWE. Uh, so yeah, so it, it, this is under under a Royal Rumble rules. So you'll have to face a bunch of skeletons and. They, you can eliminate them by knocking them, throwing them over the top rope. Okay. And uh, yeah, so uh, the crowd is the crowd is like you guys are both heels, but they're they're kind of on your side uh, on this one. They think it's, yay. You know, just the the general like you know 
you're the you're the more you're like not to say you're you're still a heel, but you're you're definitely the more face ish in this particular uh, match because you're right. the big underdog and you know you're right, right, right. tons of people at once. So exactly, the crowd is kind of on your side by you know. Um, whereas Cowell and Cowell's uh, got a throne that he's like pulled out onto the ramp, and so he'll <laughs> view the proceedings from his throne. <laughs> The ultimate form of fighting is sitting down all of the time. So yeah, but uh, before the, any of that, uh, Johnny, uh, your music plays and you are Ooh. the first to enter the ring. Excellent. <laughs> so I just can't get over this. This is too ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is Kyle Brax already on the ramp when I come out? Or is he... Oh, he'll, he'll, show, up, he'll show up later. Uh, okay. I'm, I was... I'm observing from my Blight Moon. And is... And it's, so we're still in Kenoria, so like, is this this isn't outside anymore, right? Like, we're in a. I thought this is like a this is like a temporary stage, so yeah, it's outdoors. Oh, it is still uh, the same place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just like I said, this is like the night two of the event. Like, this was okay. this was on consecutive nights, but this won't be. This will be like this is like released the week after, and released yeah. the week after on on TV for the okay, rest okay, of okay. the country. Okay, just trying to get the visual. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, is there anything else in so the ring? Like, is it set up to be? Spooky, or is it? Um, uh, yeah, is it just a regular ring. Actually, yeah, maybe. Like, it's got like uh, it's got some uh, like you know, it's got some of like Cowell's like distinctive uh, you know, like the ring posts are like have like caps on them that look like like bones. And uh, okay. it, you're pretty much in hell right now. Like the the floor is red, <laughs> and like in, you can't do an Irish whip because it's just the long contiguous femur all all the way around. <laughs> I think we should probably leave the ropes as they are, considering this is a battle royal, and so you need to eliminate people by putting them over the ropes. And if <laughs> if the ropes aren't ropes, that might make things a lot more you difficult. Can, and yeah, you, can, you can put them over, yeah. but you can't still stop you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll uh, I'll walk out onto stage, and the yep. music's playing, and then I get up. I do my usual like kind of. Um, like sequence as I get up onto the stage, um, and I'm just gonna kind of start by like kicking off, um, all the like I probably won't get to all of them, but I'll start just like kicking off the bones that are on all the goalposts and kind of like, um, just like making a a mockery of this and just being like, I am I am more powerful than skeletons and uh in this darkness like I'm a fucking cowboy. <laughs> Right. So nice. Yeah. So yep. Yeah, I'm just uh I'm just kind of defacing the arena to some extent. Uh, not enough that it like actually yeah, destroys yeah. the thing, but just to yeah, kind so, of like Yeah, all right. Sure. So yeah, well uh, you're working the audience. You're trying to pump them up. No. Yeah. Make myself look cool. Okay. Holy shit balls. Nice. Yeah, they're like, yeah. The Fuck Holy that shit up. crow! <laughs> yeah, the, okay. the crow starts to chant. They're like, "Fuck it up, fuck it up." <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I will just gain one momentum since I'm already right. at maxi. I'm not even mad. That's incredible. Exactly. I mean, yeah, it's great when your opponent when your opponent is is when the crowd's on their side. Like they'll be they'll be into the match, right? So that's good. So sorry, what did you say? I'll just gain momentum since I'm already at maxi with uh with Cal. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, get the crowd going. All right. So now, Cowl, it is your turn. So yeah, your some of your henchmen bring out your throne to be seated at the head of the ramp. Well, like they're just uh, they just wheel me out, or just uh, they carry me. I mean, me you, out. you describe it. You describe it. <laughs> yeah. You describe okay. it. Okay. Uh, I, uh, much like a king from days of yore, uh, I sit atop my, my dread throne as, uh, four to six, uh, of my, my loyal disciples carry me, uh, down the ramp to the, to the edge of it, and, uh, they place me down, and the throne, uh, rises another five feet for me to look down upon the ring at, and slowly from behind, you can see, like, masses and masses of, uh, bodies emerging from behind the throne, walking towards the ring slowly. And while this is happening, I'm having some very elaborate pyrotechnics. Uh, the lights go dim, and you can see, like, the uh, the green light, uh, uh, not, not unlike Mountain Dew, just glowing, uh, outlining where the ramp is. 
and you can see the glowing the the glowing skeletons on the on the massive army. Nice. They walk towards. Nice. All right. All time, I am silent. I want to see how this cowboy feels. All right. Well, yeah. So you're standing in the ring, and uh, the the first skeleton slides under the bottom turnbuckle, and uh, his tooth, his teeth shine in the shine in the late evening light. So I'm just thinking. I'm thinking like. Way too far forward in the match. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, okay. I'm just uh, out of curiosity. Uh, am I able to narrate what my what my army is doing, or would I? Um, yeah, that actually, you, I think that's a, that's a fair idea for the for the sake of the match and to to save me from having to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, well, I think. Yeah, 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 I, think you, I mean, idea. you're direct. You, like you're directing them too, so you could be like shouting things from your throne, right? And you know, and like saying what they're doing. I'm totally yeah. That's cool. I'm down yeah. with that. I know I control my character, but I'm like, wait, I'm not I'm like, like, like people. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's gonna just gonna be. I think there's gonna be ten skeletons, ten skeleton army, because that's still like, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so uh, I think that's more than enough. But th yeah, they cannot. They're only gonna come in one at a time. Okay, I was gonna uh, ask and, that actually. Yeah, so there's they're only coming in every like thirty seconds to a minute, and there's not an actual timer. Because this it's all well, like the dramatic sense of the match, right? Yeah. So yeah. You, you know, this has kind of been worked. You guys have, like talked about this beforehand. You're like, okay, the you know, just the the broad strokes of the match, and you're like, okay, so send another guy in after I do this, and you know, yada yada yada. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. But so the life, skeleton... you guys are making it up on the fly. So let's go. <laughs> right, Not Johnny. They're coming for you. Okay, are so you... the skeleton starts to climb into the ring. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I pull out my length of rope and I just like tie it around my waist and kind of like pump up, doing that like Shia LaBeouf. This guy's going to be immortalized for this motion. But doing that like Shia LaBeouf, like putting my arms together and flexing thing. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to let the first skeleton run at me. And then when he, well, I guess I should maybe let Tyler narrate, but I'm assuming if he's going to like run at me and then I'm going to basically just try and like take him and flip him over um, oh, he's running my you. body and like just like slam him um like on the other side nice yeah sure that's uh <laughs> yeah i mean uh that's like... that's that's a wrestling move go ahead and make the wrestling move yep wrestling uh i guess work that's just work yep yep defended mm -hmm. myself by working the audience if you're looking at my sheet i'm so amazed you rolled a 14 damn oh <laughs> I will oh, no. spend one momentum okay. to do I want to and gain a momentum and give up control. <laughs> so the Tyler start narrating. Okay. So I, I flip him over, slide him on the ground, and then uh yep. hand it over to Tyler. Uh you you somewhat managed to successfully like pick, take care of one, but can you handle Four at the same time. Uh, from, e from each corner of the ring, there is now a new skeleton warrior, each holding a staff, coming for you. Ooh, Excellent. this was this is the audience doesn't like this. Is this is this a heel move? The heel, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're the. You, this isn't what was agreed. The, <laughs> four on one. That's the, that's hardly fair. So yeah, so you spend one momentum and go ahead and make the heel move. All right. Where did I put my heel move? Uh, it it's, it might uh, be in the macro. It's section. in the macro the list. Macro? Yeah. Okay. So is it on the bottom of your foot? But <laughs> uh, wait, there we go. There's a heel move. I just spent two momentum. There's no number. Oh, you have to spend two momentum. Right. Okay. Sorry. Oh no. It's okay. I'll allow it. Um... Oh. <laughs> So wait, what's what's happening? So you can uh, you spend. I, I I'm allowing it because I I was kind of trying to prompt you to do it, even though technically you need two momentum. Uh, oh, so shit. I'll allow it for now. So you uh, you pick one of those. You do some. You're, so you're cheating, right? This is not this is not how it was agreed, right? So. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
I wanna, I'm going to gain heat with you, uh, Andrew. Okay. So oh, yeah, because you don't have max heat yet. Yeah, Your yeah. heat is up to plus four with Andrew. Nice. So, yeah, how do you... Uh, how does uh, Cowell react to this treachery? I mean, Johnny? Was clearly, sorry, how, did, how does Cowell, like, you know, he's or, clearly orchestrated this this treachery, so what does he have to do? How does he reveal yeah, his does... nefarious plot? Oh, okay. <laughs> he, with with shock, he is surprised <laughs> that his uh, his army has betrayed him. They're... Oh, he's, he's, so he's like, oh, me? I didn't do this. They did this all on their own? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, the crowd's like, Boo. like, I didn't tell them to do that. Boo. They don't believe you. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're still in control. You have a, a legion of skeleton warriors surrounding Johnny Legend. <laughs> Honestly, this is good because it'll speed up the tempo of the match. <laughs> That's very <good>. true. <laughs> Cowl, Cowl jumps from his throne into the middle of the ring next to Johnny. Oh, okay. He, and he faces away. Clearly, there's been a betrayal. Interesting. Okay. I, I cannot control my skeleton army, Johnny. I need your help. Apparently, they're not listening Whoa. to me. Okay. All right. All right. I like this. This is, this okay. is wild. Yeah. Okay. Johnny, so... you're, you're rolling okay. my bone. Together. Can I can I do a, like a move in response? Um. Hold on. A, hold on a second. So... Um, clearly I mean, there's a there's a splinter cell in my in my skeleton army. I mean, yeah, I was just saying like this is like this is like this is almost like like a face turn, right? Is it? Like you're like because like you're the bad guy and you're like try you're like gonna beat up this guy, but like then you're like no, we need to team up together and um, beat the skeleton army beat back the skeleton army like you know like this is exactly what you wanted and you you realize you've done something wrong this is almost like a face turn so uh Ooh. yeah i mean i would say that uh yeah this is this this is this is this is face you're turning face right now Ooh. otherwise it doesn't make any sense <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for sure. so yeah uh you're you, yeah um so yeah so you're face now uh yeah, so go cool. ahead and choose your role. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so flip it. You're a, you're a baby face. I'm a baby face now. The baby face skeleton man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and no. Give me a moment. I'm going to just pull up the book to just double check the, the thing. So does he change like his whole role or just the fact that he's healed to face? Just healed to face. He's a face oh, now. Okay. Everything else is the same. So he can make the face move instead of the heel move. As they open the um, sheet, it has the A's. I'm like, that's not it. Yeah, so it should be just on your on your sheet. Like, it's just like baby face versus heel, and then there's a like a baby face move and a heel move, and that's that's the only difference. So ah, okay. I mean, yeah. So you're 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 a good guy now, which is funny because uh, <laughs> Andrew's character is still the bad guy, but you guys are te are temporarily teaming up. <laughs> I did not, I did not ask for the for the archbishops of my army to come at you like this, Johnny. <laughs> All right, so well, yeah, okay. So supports. you guys are you guys are now teaming up. So this is still a this is still a royal rumble or a regal wrangle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the the skeleton army is uh, surrounding you guys. So uh, mm. you guys will the momentum will be a little non-standard because uh, you guys are like both right because we're on the same side sort of. You guys are on the same side, but you're also both in the ring, right? So yeah, just uh, like I said, we'll. Just uh, like I said, we'll we'll figure it out. Figure it out as we go. Okay. Alrighty. Can I? Okay, I just wanted to do like a move. It's not really a move as much as it's just like an interaction. Okay. Um, but when um, Cowell comes in the ring and faces away from me, I'm gonna like tap him on the shoulder, and you know when like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like. Dylan, do that fucking you son of a bitch. Oh yeah, you guess what I'm talking about? Yeah, like the yeah, yeah, son yeah. of a bitch. We we'll do that. And clap <laughs> okay. arms and like flex. Yeah, and, like, pull okay. each other in. Yeah, I like that. And then, <laughs> and then I'm All gonna right. go flying out towards one of the skeletons. And I don't know what Cal's gonna do, but yeah. Well, keep going, keep going. 
Okay. Well, because I don't, I don't technically have narrative control though, right? Because it's still. Do I still have? Do I still have the. I was gonna say I, that's a good point. Yeah. So, Cal, you have narrative control. So, go ahead and uh, narrate what you do. I, uh, I, I like this, uh, this camaraderie we have now. We clasp hands, and uh, I, I just, I just mutter, "For now." And uh, at that point, uh, I. I hand out uh, like I hold the crucible to, and I point them at the uh, at the two that are facing me, I'm hoping that uh, they'll be they'll back away from as they know that there is magic in this crucible in my hand. Nice. Okay. So that sounds like uh, sounds like you're working the audience, doing a little 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 magic. Work the audience. I was gonna say since this is on. It's on tape. We can technically add more special effects. Yeah, you can add. Yeah, exactly. It's because it's it, yeah. It, it's yeah. They gussy it up a little for TV. Obviously, you're still doing it live in front of an audience, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, That's they're the thing. Gussy, it's like... they do gussy it up a little bit for TV. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah, they love it. They love they love all this weird magic nonsense. It, it's it's pushing all the right buttons for them. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna gain momentum for this one. Okay, you gain momentum. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead, keep going. Yeah. Well, at this point, I want to see what Johnny does. Uh, I'm gonna, I wish to hand narrative control over to you, Johnny. Okay. Okay. Was that a comeback? Nope. It's not really a comeback, I don't think, because you're not okay. handing it to your opponent. But he like because you guys oh, are on the same fair. team. I guess so. Yeah. Really okay. Team, okay. You can just you can yeah. just pass back and forth. Like I said, if you were if this were a tag team match, then I would be like, oh, okay, go. Cool. Then you know, you can. But you can just like tag in and out whenever you want, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Like there's a specific tag team move which is like the hot tag, and basically the hot tag is like you're you're you need to tag out because you're in trouble, and your opponent's like, come on, come on, come on, and then you dive for the tag and make it, mm. right? Normally in a tag team match, if you guys just want to tag in and out, you can just do so fluidly, right? So we'll do the same yeah. here, right? You can hand off control to the other at any point that you want because you guys are on the same side, right? Okay, uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay, cool. Now I'm starting to get it in my head now. Um, okay, so in that case, Johnny doesn't have magic, <laughs> so he's just gonna run at the two skeletons on his side and clothesline them both uh, nice. simultaneously, and Ooh, then show yeah. Oh. All right, that sounds like you're trying to you're trying to get them out of here. So, um, go ahead and uh, make the uh, regal wrangle move. Regal wrangle move. So wait, I don't should be in the macro list. I nope, unfortunately do not. Not see it. okay. I will add it. There you go. It's in the macro list now. Excellent. Okay. Regal wrangle. Yeah. And is this body work? Yeah, uh, so this is body. This is body for sure. Okay. Eight. Oh wait. Oh, these are. This is different. Should we show? Choose a showcase. Or is it to leaning an opponent? Uh, they don't quite go over. Choose retain control and choose the next entrant. What does choose the next entrant mean? So that would in a normal Royal Rumble, right? You would say this is the next wrestler entering the ring is this person. Oh, okay, I see. But uh, in this case, that's not that. So. Oh, okay. Wow, this is dangerous. And then if you fail, you can get dumped over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the crowd yeah, pops you can lose. and gain plus momentum. Choose. They are eliminated. They stay in due to the next entrant. Okay. Well, I'm going to spend two momentum. Okay. I'm going. And then one. gain a momentum. Yep. Going up back to two. And then fucking eliminate these guys because that's more epic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just yeah, you, you just double clothesline these fools, and they go. And you just truck them over the over the edge. The crowd goes nuts. They love that move. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> the double clothesline over the top rope. Absolutely. <laughs> it's not. It's hardly feels like a like a Royal Rumble without one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, they're they're into it. Uh, yeah, seems like a, a natural Regal. time to go back to Cowl facing off with the other two skeletons. Regal, yeah. Regal, rum, Regal, Wrangle. Do not, Look, do not sue. Vince, Vince, <laughs> suck my balls. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, who's Vince? Plus one, he. Yeah, exactly. Who's that? Never heard of that guy. Uh, we live in a timeline where there is no WWE. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Calbrax. So you're facing off on your two former henchmen. My two former henchmen. I am going to split the crucible in half, and it for and it creates uh, two bladed weapons in its wake for me nice. to wield against them. Uh, from there, I I I do like a I'm trying, I can't remember the exact word, but it's like I I essentially just run at them, mm-hmm. and it looks like nothing happened, but through the magic of pyrotechnics and uh, TV magic, uh, their heads fall to the floor. Oh, okay, cool. Feel over. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like it, like yeah, exactly. So like they're like they're like the actual wrestlers are like that are filling in for these skeletons have like fake heads yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) all right sure uh that seems like your um hmm, i don't know certainly not it's not really a uh a wrestling move i've been using a lot of non-standard wrestling moves to be fair (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fine. Uh, it's it. not really an athle- athletic feat, is it? Really, no. Um, mm. no, mm-hmm. not really. Uh... Yeah, I think we just um. Well, actually, yeah, we'll just go with the wrestling move. Um. Yeah, I guess when in doubt, right? Yeah, we'll just go with the wrestling yeah. move, and we'll just go go with work. Or, when in doubt, sorry, go. No, yeah, work is fine. Yeah, because this is yeah, like it's not really a wrestling move, but you know, you're you're still like you know, you're you're basically just doing a clothesline with some gussied up stuff, right? Pretty much. Actually, yeah. it's not, maybe like you guys, are, this is like a very similar move. So maybe like this is in stereo, right? This is yeah, technically yeah. happening. This is technically happening at the same time. Yeah. So the crowd can kind of like see the difference between you guys. Oh, mm. it's symmetry. Yeah, exactly. That's okay, cool. I like that. So yeah, we'll just go with the wrestling move. Um, because you're not eliminating them over the top rope, but you're eliminating no. them in another way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna double check and see if I have a special like wrestling macro on my character sheet. No, nope, there's just the regular one from the main macro. Uh, you should have like yeah, like the wrestling move should be a macro on on your character sheet. Should it not? Oh no, it isn't. Yeah, it's just in, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, for this, uh, I'm not going to use a momentum, but uh, it wouldn't be You'll work. Use... Right? It'll be work. Yeah, it'll be work. It'll be work? Okay, okay so yeah. I get a plus two for that. Yep, none of, none of the other ones make sense, so work it is. Mm. Bah. I'm going to take one momentum and I'm going to hand it off to you, uh, Johnny. Uh, you guys are on the same team, so I'll, I'll, I will actually take control. Oh, I'll okay. give you one mm. momentum. And because I, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, introduce a complication. So yes, yeah, so Tyler's uh, former henchmen have turned on him, and the, you, now that you, we, you guys were busy dealing with the four in the ring, um, but half a dozen more surround you, um, and they start moving towards the ring and uh, are about to climb in when uh, a Irish jig blasts over the stereo system what and the, the crowd starts cheering because they know who that is that's kieran kelly he is the tv champion uh i haven't thought of a name for the the tv Excellent. belt yet uh, i'll think about that on the on the off season but he's he's he starts like charging down the ramp with the belt in hand and he starts like just trucking all of these skeleton guys with the <laughs> with the belt and he's like fighting like two or three of them uh, at once um and the crowd is going nuts but the other ones uh, are not distracted so another four managed to make it into the ring uh, and you guys have to deal with them excellent so wait who is this because I thought Mikey Price was the champion, right? This is Mikey Price is like the the he's got the big belt, like the, oh, okay, the, like, the, like so like a lot of wrestling promotions will have more than one belt, right? Right. right There'll right. be like and even like so there's obviously will usually be like a singles belt and a tag team belt, maybe a trios belt if they have a trios division. Oh, okay. A women, or a, a women's belt, 
et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, but it's not uncommon for there to be two singles belts in a promotion or more. Um, right. Uh, so this one, the, the main difference between this belt and the, like the championship belt is the championship belt is like more prestigious and like a bigger deal. And it rarely gets defended on TV. Right. So the idea of mm -hmm. kind of like the TV belt is it's like a mid card belt that gets defended on TV. So people who don't pay for the pay-per-views still have something that they can look forward to, right? I see. So that's kind of what this is. So this is like the mid-card belt. So like if you, you know, it's kind of like, it's also like a way of like, like a, like if you're not, if the, if creative doesn't think you're quite ready for the big, a shot at the big belt just yet, they'll maybe put the mid-card belt on you for a while and see how the audience reacts before they okay. give you a big title push. So, okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah, so Kieran Kelly is uh he's the current TV championship. He's uh his his image his gimmick is that he's Irish. Uh <laughs> <laughs> excellent. So there you go. <laughs> My gimmick is I'm Texan, so I can appreciate the uh cultural yeah. attitude. <laughs> Look, man, like <laughs> cultural shorthand is <laughs> is what yeah. the building blocks of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I have no culture. I am of all men when they return to zero. Hey man, <laughs> skeletons are skeletons are totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the the Undertaker is one of the most successful wrestling uh, guys of all time. He's basically just a zombie, right? So. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, well, what region is he from? I don't actually know where he. I don't remember where he was built from. From the region of know. hell itself. I don't know. Let's, let's look up. Yeah. When you're from hell, you pronounce it water. Where was Undertaker built from? He was built from Death Valley. Okay, so Dex Valley, sense. like Amora. All right. Crawled out of hell in the bowels of Death Valley. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's, yeah, he's built from Death Valley, which makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. There are four skeletons mm -hmm. in the ring uh, once more, uh, facing you guys down. Okay. Well, at this time, I'm going to take my, uh, and uh, at this point, I will I will say the the booking is that you guys have managed to win, uh, so don't get yourselves yeah. eliminated. Okay, Ooh. okay, I'll do oh, no. that. <laughs> can I run so in? at this point? Uh, yeah, you can run in if you want. Yeah, I want to run in. So run in, make the run in. Move. <laughs> ah. that's reshoot. Oh no, that's reshoot. I misclick. I misclicked. Run in. Ooh, heat. So yeah, so when you make the run in, yeah, actually this is a good, uh, a good uh, plus two, I guess. Who? Yeah. Well, who are you? What are you? Who are you interrupting? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, I am gonna try to defeat the like skeletons who? that are taking over this match because okay, they weren't. This is all illegal. Legally, <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, so um, they'll prevent more skeletons from like jumping in, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna before we basically when you run in, you're basically saying I'm gonna ruin this match and uh -huh. make it not have its intended conclusion. I'm gonna do this instead. So that's okay, but um, basically, hold on, or mm, I don't know. Because I, I was thinking about pulling the heel move initially to bring in um, other people to help me fight, but it doesn't it doesn't fit as semantically anymore because it's like now I was going to do it to like kind of pull a fast one right cowl. Now, yeah, exactly. But he, but he turned face before you could. Yeah. And now you guys are kind of like you got you're kind of like a doing a tweener thing right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of act <laughs> like a face, and cowl's like straight up turned face. Uh, yeah. because you know this yeah. i mean this just happened to you so people will be like oh well it just happened to him but he's still okay. a bad guy fine right. i won't run in that sounds yeah. fair i don't want to ruin the, it's okay, the match it's okay you can run in but keep in mind that when you run in you're basically saying the match as it is will end <laughs> okay <laughs> and this is like you'll uh you think there's going to be a new so you can you can run in and like just basically ruin the match but keep in mind that that's what it will do. And the person who you ruin the match for will be angry with you, likely. 
So that's fine. Don't don't let it stop you if you want. You can run in. That's fine. But okay. I just because you you kind of said you wanted to enter the ring to fight the skeleton army, and I'm like, that's you know, the run in move doesn't really have yeah. a a great way of describing that action. Do you know? What well, I guess mean? how does that? Yeah, but like how does it? Okay. Because yeah, just like with Kieran, like is that the similar thing or is that different? Somehow, I'm I know not, he's an NPC. He's, but well, he's an NPC, so he's. I'm just not doing ruining. That. I'm not ruining the match. I, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna like be, be you can there. Like show up and like and like yeah. I was gonna say you can show up and help Kieran out. That's fine. Yeah, I want to make the. But can it, I make the face move? Because I'm fighting for something I believe in. Uh, what do you believe in? I believe that this this has gotten out of hand and skeletons can't win here. So that doesn't make okay. any sense. Yeah, so yeah, so you're, yeah, because I said Cowl turned face and you're also a face, so you're going to help out Cowl now, and it's uh, simple enough. Okay, yeah, go ahead, make the face move. Wait, I don't have enough momentum. Never momentum, mind. Be- Never uh, mind. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it because uh, I want you guys to get comfortable with using those moves. So okay. Go ahead and just spend one one momentum. Leave <laughs> your opponent speechless. I like, oh, that's an option all on its own. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Expose villainous behavior to book a cheater to lose. I don't understand that one. Do you do you book the cheater to lose, or do you expose well, yeah, that the cheater is booked to lose? If you are, yeah, exactly. So basically, often, like if a face is, you know, if a face is against the heel in a match, right, the heel will cheat to win, right, and you can make the face move and say, and the the ref finds out that, oh, he was cheating. You, yeah, and makes the baby face the winner. Oh, right? okay. Because normally the ref doesn't notice when the heel cheats. Oh, book a fighting. cheater to lose. Sorry, yes, for some reason exactly. I th- saw it as like to win, but... No, 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 okay. yeah. So you're like, oh, he gets caught for once and the crowd is really I satisfied. I see. But the only reason that he caught it is because the, the baby thieves was so determined to, to fight, you know, to fight through it and all that stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do you choose? I, I choose leave your opponent speechless. Nice. <laughs> And yeah. what what does that mean? I don't well, know. They were skeletons, so they weren't speaking much to begin with. But yeah. they're dumbfounded by your uh, yeah. by your uh, your coming to his aid. And actually, the skeletons that are surrounding the ring uh, start to flee. Uh, you kind of chase them back into the back of the uh, back. Of, you chase them away, and the crowd is cheering. Excellent. So. Yeah, okay, like the so ones that are like, few... because, you know, yeah, also it's because like they were like something went, went wrong and they're like, you know, they're supposed to like fall, f- throw, get thrown over the ring and like, you know, be dead or whatever, be dead skeletons. But they're like coming back into the ring and doing yeah, shenanigans exactly. like so, that. So that's what I'm clearing up. Yes, yeah, so you, you're you cleaning house and uh, a bun- you clear out a bunch of the skeletons around the ring and chase and them, you, uh, chase them you away. Give, and you give them all subpoenas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're sir. <laughs> Yeah, Jim, are you wearing your lawyer suit or are you wearing uh, like wrestling gear? I'm wearing my lawyer suit, probably. I'm probably Excellent. using my like briefcase as a weapon because they're cheating. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Like Turn you're not supposed. Play. I'm like you're not here. You're supposed to be gone. Uh, it is. It is illegal. It is true that like sometimes like an audience will be fine with a with a face cheating, in the same way that the heel previously cheated to beat them. You know, because like turnabout is fair play kind of thing. You know what I mean? Right. So especially more like like hardcore edgy faces will often do that because it's like, well, I mean, I wouldn't do this. On, you know, they wouldn't do it by themselves. But if you're right. going to cheat, it's only fair. But now, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> you know, I'll show you that. Yeah. I, you know, if, we, if we're both on a level playing field, I'll beat you, you know? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> there's four skeletons in the ring. Cal Brax is in there. Johnny Legend is in there. Uh, and uh, let's go. Uh, let's. I think technically speaking, Cowl still has narrative control, so we'll give it back to you, Tyler. Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to put uh two of these into onto an Irish whip, and then uh, throw them into the other one that uh, Johnny is fighting. Ah, Very... a, meet- a meeting of the minds. Nice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, the wrestling move, please. Work. Work. Wrestling Ooh. semicolon work. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You nailed it. Oh. Retain control and gain one momentum. Keep to- keep talking. Uh. 
uh, what was going to be reserved for a for a final form at a different match at a different time. Uh, <laughs> I I my my costume changes immediately uh, upon throwing them into the pile on the edge, and uh, I grow half a foot, and I now have a uh, like a. Yeah, it's like a, like a rib, like my rib cage is just much more pronounced, as uh, okay. you can see more of my tendons on my neck as I just. Uh, and I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna put them over, just over the ring. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna toss them like rag dolls. Okay, that, I'm that gonna sounds do. like uh, yeah, that sounds like the uh, the uh, regal wrangle move. Yeah. So go wait, for it. Wait, wait, hold on. Before I do that, I want to interrogate one of these men. I'm going to throw them in the middle of the ring, leave them for questioning once I'm done here. Okay. That is uh, wrestling again. Well, there's only there's only four. Sorry, there's only four left. So you can still throw two over two of them over and interrogate one of them later if you want. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do we'll do this one for now. We'll we'll go with um we'll go with body because you're just throwing them, you know. Just body. Yeah, so we'll go okay. real wrangle with uh, with plus body. Wow, I'm just killing it. Oh, it's another 10. Yeah, there you go. Wait, Boom. hold on a minute. Uh, that's the wrestling moves. Yes. That's the wrong oh. move. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. You want to go with, click the... It should be in the macro list. It's the regal wrangle. Yeah. Move because you're oh, throwing oh, somewhere the go. top. Of it. Yeah, okay, there, there we go. My bad, sorry. And uh, yeah, let's try that again. Ooh. Okay, even better. Keep <laughs> happening. <laughs> All right, so you throw them over the top rope and you gain plus one momentum. All right. So there's still two left, and uh, you and you and uh, you and Johnny have got them right where you want them. And you Irish whip those two into the other two that are by me. Right? No, I'm from... saying like he he Irish whipped the two of them, and each of them ran into one of the other ones. I assumed, and then he grabbed one of the two that were like shaken up, and or grabbed a pair of the ones that were shaken up, and just hurled them over the side. Okay. So there's some two who have recently like knocked heads into one another that are still kind of staggering around the ring. Yeah. I'm going to go up to the two that are in the middle of the ring and ask, "What? What was the meaning of this betrayal? Was it worth it? Who orchestrated this mutiny?" Uh, and this, and um, the skeletons, as they are wont to do, are silent as the grave. Oh. I didn't anticipate that. <laughs> unless you, I mean, unless you, do you want someone to have orchestrated the betrayal? I can make up a non-player wrestler who orchestrated the betrayal. That would, that would be dope, actually. actually. That's a great that's idea. A... So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, one of them, like, whispers in the name of your ear. It was, it was the Grim. The Grim? Yes, the Grim. Oh. And in a, in a show of sheer force, I am going to single-handedly toss both of them over the over the ring while I scream. All right, I will. Uh, I will let. Uh, uh, like I said, Johnny's in the in the ring too. So how about uh, you guys both do it together? Johnny, sure. let's do this together. That's a great All idea. Right. <laughs> I pull out my rope and I start to tie one, and then I kick one in the gut and throw it over to you, and then. Uh... Ooh, serve me, serve me. <laughs> and then in unison, as we kind of like look at each other and then nod, we can like toss, toss these skeletons over the rope. Nice. Uh, All right. Um, so because uh, normally this would be a uh, uh, another regal wrangle move, but uh, uh, go ahead and uh, both of you can roll the finishing move. Okay. I'll say, and uh, we'll just. We'll just play it that that way, just to give, give you guys a chance to to do the finisher. Sure. So, uh, Tyler, Woo. you got an eight. I'm gonna Andrew, spend two momentum to make it perfect. Yep. So you guys both get plus one audience. Yay. Uh, Andrew's already at max audience, but Tyler, you move up to plus two. 
Or I guess technically, yeah, you move into the top spot. Woo! Uh, so. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And you guys both wrestled a plus four match. And so, yeah, the match is over. I'll give you another plus one audience. Tyler? Oh, thank you. And. So, yeah, so uh, now, uh, Tyler, your skeleton army has been induced to betray you uh, under the auspices of Giacomo the Grim. Giacomo the Whoa. Grim. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. But there is another man at the side of the ring who is Kieran Kelly. Mm. Uh, and he looks up at you, Johnny Legend, and he says, Johnny, and he slaps the belt and he says, <laughs> I'm looking for challengers, and I gotta say, I've liked what I've seen from you. So what do you say next week? We do a trial run. You be me. You get a shot of this. And he points at the belt. I just take off my hat. I throw it to the side. And then I like. Give him like a. Grab his hand and kind of like squeeze it. I don't know. I'm Shake trying to think hand. if I should. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Put him like a bro All right. way. All right. Excellent. So yeah, we'll we'll call it a wrap on that. So we've got some more storylines developing. No. And uh yeah, so it's now the end of the episode. Um so we will I just need to check the uh promotion. How is it doing? You guys got a lot of audience, so I think it should be doing oh, yeah. pretty well. I think, uh, we're promoting the promotion. What was the main event, by the way? I just wanna know. Um Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, that's a good point. I <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> the main event is uh, was going to be uh, that um, there was going to be a like a, a contendership match for or like the uh, the CW belt. Sorry, if you wanted to jump in on that, then uh, you still can. Uh, not this time. I don't think. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I I, I was t- kind of making things up as I went along, and I just I kind of made this up, and I was like, ooh, this is this will be a fun way to to get uh to get uh johnny legend in the title picture because the uh, he's really hot right now and the audience will want to see that so i was just mm-hmm. like ah, i'll just have a belt guy come in and give him a shot because he's impressed so okay yeah um where is why can't i find the uh hold on There they are. Okay, good. So it is the end of the episode. There's a tier zero promotion currently, and there are three wrestlers, so the audience is threshold is nine. So we got five, nine, yes, we're at twelve. So we are tiering up. We are now a tier Woo! one promotion. We're all getting um, raises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, this was a, this this event in Kanara was a huge success, uh, and it brought a lot of new people into watching the show. So, uh, because, um, so yeah, so you move into the top spot, uh, Andrew. So you gain okay. an advance. So you go ahead and uh, I don't know if on your character sheet. Uh, if they if you can if there's a spot for you to mark advances, but you have one. So keep that in mind. Um, and it has a list of all the things you can spend it on. Uh, so don't worry about that right now. Um, yeah. uh, uh, but we can we can workshop that. If you want to make like a custom... The only thing I would say is if you want to make a custom move, uh, let me know like at some point this week, and then that way we can workshop it and get it ready for next week. But if, okay. you, want, if you want a manager or if you want to pick a move from a different gimmick or another move from your own gimmick. Uh, or, you, yeah, those are basically those are basically the three things that you don't need to consult with me for. <laughs> yeah. But if you want a custom move, you can do that as well. But, uh, yeah. Bring it up right now. Why, do I get rid of my injury now? Um... I remember if that happens when you advance or not. Yes. 
You can if you want. Well, sorry, it's not when you get one; it's when you spend one, technically. Oh, okay. So you don't have to spend an advance when you right when you get it, technically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a there's a spot on the normal character sheets where you can quote unquote bank them. Um, so, but there's generally not a great reason to do that unless you honestly don't know what you want to do. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it's generally better to just like get moves and you know. But if you want to like, for instance, like let's say you want a manager, but you don't want to introduce them right now. That might be a good reason to to save right. it so that you can introduce them when you want to. Form a dedicated tag team. Ooh, that's oh, that's yeah, tempting. That's right. I forgot that you could do that too. Oh, that's so tempting. <laughs> well, you don't have to decide right now. Um, let's let's not actually not have you decide right now because you're gonna have okay. other things you need to do. Okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead and mull it over. Like I said, you don't have to spend it right away, so you you definitely have time to mull it over. Yeah. Um. But what you do need to do right now, because we've tiered up and you're in the top spot, you get to pick a tier effect. Okay. So the tier effects um, are as follows. You can add a new support, reflecting an advantage the new audience brings. Remove a current support, reflecting the loss of something that was of value. Increase or decrease your reach, rep reflecting expansion or consolidation of your audience. Remove a struggle, reflecting that having new fans overcomes that issue, or add a struggle, reflecting an unattended consequence of new eyes on your product. Uh, so, yeah. So currently, uh, I have in the in the bio uh, of the CWA. If you look search, like at the very top, the things that are in bold are. Oh, jeez. The words in bold are the the things that are good and the and bad, right? So there's a cable TV deal and a diverse roster, and those are the good things. But the roster is bloated, and the fan base is hostile, and those are bad things. Fan base is hostile. Why are they toxic, hostile? We don't well, want toxic fan Oh, right, because of the issues between um... between the the yeah, exactly. The two fan bases are kind of grafted together in a way that they don't love. Okay. And yeah, I would say like you can uh, you can do whatever you want. Obviously. The diverse roster is good, but then it's bloated. The two wrestlers vying for too little screen time. What's more, the previous Star Fans promotions are not fans. Their beloved company is going big, and so the fan base is hostile. So I can okay. So basically, I can choose to like add or get rid of one of these things. You can yes, yeah, so you can you can remove any one of those things if you think either struggle or support, or you can add a new one, either a struggle or a support from the list on page 128. Okay. Or, of course, you can just make up one of your own. Right. Building or you can uh, change, increase or decrease your reach. So you, that means either expanding or consolidating. So right now, uh, our reach is uh, uh, is uh, national. So because we are a national. Um, and well, it's already be. pretty big in that sense. Like, yeah, the only so, one above that is international, right? Yes, exactly. The only one above that is international. Okay. Okay. Well, then, in that case, okay, I'm looking at all these words now. We could be in debt. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why I didn't want you to do the other one, because this is actually a big decision. Yeah. And to keep in mind, like, these are all these are all just examples. You can also come up with something else if you if you Large just have something. Large forecast. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Well, in this sense, I would like to... Uh, I guess if it's okay with the rest of the uh, wrestlers, mm -hmm. um, I think after the showing in Kenora, and I'm assuming that, especially what I think helps it happen is that Cowell and I are from different divisions. Yes. Um, so I can't remember. And I'm just making this up. I don't know if it's actually true or not. I mean, but, whatever works, man. Yeah. But assuming I'm from the. Um, Oh, open this text box again. From the one well, from Ontario, so I'm assuming I'm from Alliance Wrestling, and he's probably from Western. Wrestling. Yep, yep, um, that makes sense. Also, with your guys' stats, right? You're more yeah. of like the showman, and you're a monster. And Tyler's like the actual like technical wrestling guy. Uh, yeah, who has a bit more of a yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna say that our fan base is at least less. Uh, hostile, and they don't All actually right. mind as much the merging of the two companies. 
yeah so this yeah as i say this this big two night event has uh has got one you won the won the uh promotion some goodwill amongst their fans and they're like you know what there was lots of good wrestling and there was lots of like big flashy stuff uh and uh so both all of the fans went away happy and they're like oh well this maybe isn't gonna be so bad i'm i haven't lost the thing that i used to love mm. uh so yeah okay that's great um now that you've done that um you all reset your audience so uh everyone goes back to their i uh i guess yeah yeah so you're at plus one andrew john you're at plus two and tyler you're at plus one because now like i said the audience is kind of like they're like happy um but like i said because you guys are bigger now basically so this is like the people who loved mm. you before still love you but now there's a lot more eyeballs so you have to prove yourself to a whole new group of uh of watchers okay interesting and i will pick a promotion advance so i am going to let me just see here Do we reset our heat as well, or does it just drop? No, your heat, your heat stays the same. Right, got it. Okay. I'm going to unlock Mythic Moments. I think Ooh. that is the... Uh, yeah, because that's, that's I think, fun. Um, that's a very mysterious name. Smyr- yes, so, mythical. as of now, whenever you get a natural 12, if you, you can spend all of your momentum to make it a Mythic Moment. Ooh. It's Definitely. and it's, so it, it doesn't matter like so it's just if you have a natural if you have natural box cards it doesn't matter what the actual role is, mm-hmm. um. And uh, so when a mythic moment is made, you replace the basic move results with the ones listed on page one hundred and thirty one. So, athletic feats, break kayfabe, cut a promo, work the audience, run in, and wrestling. So each of those, each of those can become a mythic moment, which basically means it's the thing that is so iconic that people will be talking about it for years to come. So yeah. So now, if you uh, if you ever roll a twelve on one of these moves, and uh, you can't, you can only do each mythic, each kind of mythic moment once, until the um, until the promotion tears up. Okay. So each of these, uh, oh yeah, the, each of the ones on uh, page one thirty one. So I'll I'll prompt you when uh, you guys, if you ever roll a natural twelve, um, I'll say, hey, do you want to spend all your momentum to make this a mythic moment? Okay. So you don't have to worry about it too much. But also, I'm telling you because if I forget, uh, please remind me. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, that's uh, that's all I got. There's uh, there's nothing more. So yes, so next time on, uh, Cowl Brax will uh, has learned of the betrayal by Giacomo the Grim. Mm, we'll see how like... that shakes out. Johnny Legend is uh, con- being considered as a contender for a championship belt, and uh, Jimmy Weston is riding high uh, off of his. Uh, big tag team victory with local reporter uh but uh, it doesn't have anything it doesn't have anything uh, of too much uh too much importance lined up for next week but the nice thing about wrestling is you never know what's going to happen mm. right the other thing at the end of episodes if uh two pe- if people didn't interact your heat kind of cools off but because Sean ran in and, and uh interacted with you guys and helped you guys out in the ring uh nothing you guys all interacted with one another 
But uh, I did not interact with Big Boy, so that disappears. That's true. So he will go down to zero, and I will actually just uh, get rid of him. That might be the e- that's going to be the e- the easiest way to do that. Mm. Um, unless Excellent. you if you plan on using him again, then uh, I, I might bring him back. But I might just want to use the space. But yeah, that that's all I got for this week. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. Thanks for playing. Thanks for running the greatest Canadian Wrestling Association <laughs> RPG game <laughs> out there. Uh, which is this game we're playing currently. If there's another one that you know of, uh, tell them to stop. Tell, them, tell them to stop, audience. <laughs> yeah, we, are no. the, we, are, we have to be the first, best, only, and last Worldwide Wrestling RPG uh, version 2 out there. Version 2 Canadian Wrestling Association. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that was great. Thanks for running another great game. That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs>